All right, this is our chicken farm. I'm gonna give you a little uh, narration of how this all goes. So we just moved these chickens this morning on fresh pasture. They are gonna be butchered tomorrow. So to give a reference of how big they actually are after being alive for only eight weeks, this chicken right here that's on the outside, this chicken is over a year old. These chickens that are much bigger are eight weeks old. So for the most, most of their life, they're too small to where they're not crammed. They only get crammed into this pen is towards the end of their life. Literally the last two weeks is when it becomes a little bit crowded. So you can see we move them every single day. There's enough square footage in here in this pen for 75 chickens. After about eight or nine weeks, if we wanted to keep them, it would look more like this. This is our egg layers. They get moved every single week. These, all these chickens are at least a year old and they get moved every single week where the whole entire fence and mobile egg coop right here actually moves around the yard once per week because uh, they pretty much exhaust all the resources on that on the ground but our meat chickens right here i'll show you the whole path of of their life so this is what it looks like that was yesterday that's one day they consumed the, in all the ground right there. This is what it looked like the day before that. And so on. So you can see that they get all of the nutrients you would want from a chicken that's running free without having them get killed off by predators or escaping or all these other things. So when a chicken is small, they only need about 1.5 square feet of space to live a healthy life. As they get older and bigger and they're full size, they need more space. But like I said, they get butchered at eight weeks. The meat chickens do. They grow really fast. So they're, they're given a feed that doesn't have soy or corn. It's a non-GMO feed. It's, it's um, real high in, in uh, uh, protein. So you can see all the way back. They started, they're going to end up where they started right here. So, honey, can you explain, explain to us with your medical opinion wh why this food is uh, so much healthier than even organic chicken that's sold in the stores? Well, this is um, not my opinion, but um, just the opinion of many people who have studied chickens that live on pasture, that the amino acid profile is different, that it breaks down different in your body, that you're able to absorb nutrients in your body differently from a chicken that's been, you know, had a healthy life on pasture versus a barn chicken that has... People think that our chickens don't have very much square footage, but when you look at the barns, they're filled with hundred thousands chickens in t tiny little spaces. They're not even allowed outside to see light. Our chickens see light. Our chickens have a normal life. Our chickens um, get to live the way a chicken should live. And when, when it's like that, it um, literally changes the way that your body can like absorb the nutrients from the grass and the dirt and everything that they've experienced outdoors that you can't that you can't get from a organic chicken sold in the stores amen thank you dr thompson so so there you go this is a quick little video of how our farm works it's rotational grazing before we had more lamb. Right now we have one sheep and two goats. And unfortunately we cannot contain the goats in an electric fence. They are uncontainable. But they would go in a similar electric fence to this 
in front of these egg layer chickens, meaning they would they would eat the grass down and then they would move on to a different location forward, like kind of like on a clockwise rotation. And then the, the egg layers behind them would get their stuff moved in on that ground that they just ate down because the, the chickens like shorter grass and the sheep like um, they like to eat on longer grass. So, but that rotation got all messed up when we butchered most of our sheep and now we only have goats. So we just let them roam around and mama sheep over there. She's getting her little sunbathe. Um, she's the only one we got left. But that's how our farm works. It's all rotational grazing. And um, that's it. So you can see that has been the lifespan. Oh, I forgot one thing too is... Uh, that the chickens fertilize the ground to create better grass in in turn helping uh, create better food for the sheep and the sheep actually help when they eat down the, uh, the grass when they poop and uh, uh, you know and they all the the pests and all the little uh, insects and whatnot the chicken actually help get rid of the parasites for the sheep so it's uh they help one another that's how we should be in life. We should all help one another. Anyways, that's the Thompson farm. So this is truly the healthiest way to, that you can farm uh, that I know of. Uh, there might be, you know, slight benefits to do it a little bit differently, but really this is about as healthy as it gets when it comes to meat chickens and egg layers. God bless you all.